Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to bring you a gadget video. I haven't done a gadget video. I know it's always over the shoulder of GoPro or Hero shots, but today I wanted to bring you something pretty cool that I just uh, recently invested a couple dollars into. Um, what you have before you here is a uh, Wi-Fi flash drive. Um, basically what that means is this is a flash drive, as you can see. You can use it like a normal flash drive if you choose, but it also has a much better functionality to it or feature or whatever. Anyway, so you push this little silver button with the Wi-Fi logo on it and you see the lights. That blue light means that this unit is now emitting a Wi-Fi signal, which I can connect to with my iPhone, with my Android phone, with a laptop, with an iPad, with a tablet. You, you can actually transfer stuff from your phone to this device, plug this into your PC, transfer it that way, or if your PC has a Wi-Fi antenna on it, boom, you can do the same thing. You can connect up to three devices at once and stream a movie from this if you want. Anyway, now we talked about that a little bit. Uh, one cool feature about this is you're not limited to a, a predetermined amount of memory. And the reason I say that is this is a, uh, is a little bay for a micro SD card. So that means if you go out and shoot a bunch of videos on your iPhone, you come back to your campground, you can download all the stuff off your iPhone, refreshing your iPhone for the next day, to this memory card. And if you happen to be able to fill up a 64 gig, in this case, memory card, you can pop it out and put a new one in and you've got even more memory. So th that's a really nice feature, the fact that you can you have exponential amount of uh, storage capacity. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to transfer a video in real time to this device so that you can see how well it works or doesn't work if you're picky. Okay, for the first go around, we're going to do it with an Android phone. Now, I've already transferred this file, so it may give me some problems, but I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, okay, as you can see, I pushed on the Wi Fi here, um, and, and here's the SanDisk flash. So, we're going to click on that. We're going to connect to that. Um, we're connected, as you can see. Now, you may have a drop of the signal when you go to this app here. This is the, uh, the SanDisk wireless flash. Sometimes it loses a signal, but it's pretty easy. To uh, restore. Okay, this is your, this is the, the main home page of the app, and as you can see, it's actually connected to the flash drive with this check mark. You'll see that sometimes it'll be a Wi-Fi signal. If it shows the Wi-Fi icon, you just click on that, and it'll reconnect to your flash drive. So now, what we want to do is we want to go into the phone gallery, which is where I have the video stored. Um, it's taking a second. Okay, and then we got the phone gallery. I'm going to click on camera because that's where everything's stored. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we've got this. Uh, here, we'll do this video. I haven't transferred it yet. It's 20 seconds, so it's not going to take long. I found that it almost transfers in real time. So I would guesstimate that this video, whoops, this video here will take approximately 20 seconds to transfer. Let's see. Actually, I will get out my other phone here and we'll do a we'll do a stopwatch okay so now I'm getting ready to transfer as you can see there's a little green icon up here in the top right hand corner if we go ahead and push that you want to see got the clock started just for you if you're wondering you see the blue light flashing that means that the data is transferring now the indicate or the the interface on the iPhone is a little nicer for me, seems a little faster, and it gives you more feedback. It actually gives you a status bar, shows what you're transferring, and you can see how fast or slow it's moving. So as of right now, we are at uh, 25, 26 seconds transfer, so my theory was wrong. It's going to take longer than 20 seconds, but... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I'm going to keep the, the time running. Okay, so 1 minute 16 seconds it took to transfer a 20 second video. Now mind you, that video is filmed in 1080p, so that's a pretty decently sized video. We're going to dismiss that and refocus. Okay, so now we've transferred a file. We can go ahead and confirm that by going all the way back to the home 
we're going to click on this which is the flash drive now this is what is on the flash drive and you can see this folder here it says uploaded from Android we're going to click on that and there's three movie or video files so what we're going to do now is I'm going to try to do just a quick pick okay so we're back at this again I'm just going to pick a random picture here you go my car in the snow okay there we go yay all right let's see how long it takes to do a pick I'm going to reset the timer three two one start blue lights flashing six seven eight Okay, so about 11, 12, almost, uh, almost 13 seconds. I'm telling you, the iPhone's faster. I'm going to go ahead and do it on the iPhone, just to show you. Okay, so here we are with the iPhone. It's not even connected yet, so I'm just going to show you how fast this can go. Oops. Um, not too fast. <laughs> SanDisk. It'll connect. All right, SanDisk app. There it is. I'm telling you, it's fast. Okay, and that's actually the uploaded from Android folder that I showed you earlier. But uh, we go back to here. This is the the iPhone interface. We can go to Photos. I've got an iPhone folder set up here. Let's go ahead and transfer a picture. Now we're not going to use this because this tries to go to the camera roll and as you know with iOS 8 there is no camera roll. So don't use the upload files from iPhone. Just use upload photos and videos. It's going to give you all kinds of stuff to look at here. Let's see. Go to photos. I'm going to go to picture of these guys and me fishing. I'm going to go to upload. Starting upload. This is real time. Boom, done. I'm telling you, it's fast. It's cool. It's awesome. Love it. So, that, my friends, is. That, my friends, is the SanDisk. Whoops. And that, my friends, is the SanDisk Wi Fi flash drive. It's a really cool device. Again, like I said, when you're out on the road and you don't have a way to back up your phone or transfer stuff from your phone or whatever you want to do it's up to you but this is a great way to transfer data without having to sync your phone an iPhone or connect it to your computer on your Android what it's it's a great device this 64 gig card from Amazon it's like 50 bucks you know, it was 30, 32 gig was 40 bucks. I figured why not double the capacity for 10 more dollars. 50 bucks, you can't beat it. Can't beat it with a stick. All right, I hope I didn't bore you to death with this. Have a good one.